Hey guys, I don't know if I had closed out the last vlog um, or not. I could, haven't watched the footage. I look real rough today because I really wanted to um, hurry up and try this um, matcha green tea latte. If y'all don't ask me why, because I don't know. I don't know why. I just been thinking about it and I was like, oh, let me try, let me try. Hold on y'all, I gotta pay. Okay, sorry y'all had to pay. So I got the tall size. I made a mistake and put four pumps of vanilla in there because I don't know how many pumps of vanilla is supposed to come in the, uh, the tall. But anyway, you know what this tastes like? It tastes like, um, maybe because I did add the vanilla in there. I don't know. But anyway, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like an insure, like not in a bad way because I love insure, I love PD insure, I love all that, right? I just wanted to encourage you all because I know, like, for me, I'm a new instructor, this is a new role in my life, so asserting my authority has been a little bit difficult, and um, I just wanted to say find a way that makes you happy to be able to assert your authority because like for me it's like you know you be trying to find your way you be trying to find like your style of teaching like what's effective what's not effective um and it's like where are we going are we going to grand blank today yeah we are okay sorry because i'm driving i'm trying to figure out anyway anyway so it's like when you're trying to find yourself like find your style of teaching you trying to find out like what works for you what doesn't work for you what works for the students as well like it's really difficult and i just want to tell y'all that if yesterday you acted a fool and today you want to act like a saint do that do that and then look the students might be like dang she's switching up no you're not forget what they say and just focus on being a better teacher because all the time you ain't gonna get it right and all the time you will realize that you could have did um you could have did something better than what you did yesterday so it's okay that you're changing what you're doing you know and i will also say too that if you set a rule in your class stand on that like don't be like oh well no nah, no 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 if you say there's no late assignments there are no late assignments if you say that there's no talking on your phone there's no talking on your phone even if somebody like oh my doctor called me okay not saying that you can't talk to your doctor but get out my classroom with that you know what i'm saying like you don't have to say it like that but you y'all get where we going with this okay so my thing is shoot i've done like i'm still growing in my role i've only been licensed since 2019 to be an instructor so and i've only physically taught in a class like a handful of times and a lot of those times during this semester i have not um been able to fully teach because none of my students were showing up for class so that's another thing sometimes it's like you be ready to teach and don't nobody show up so i say always i say to that part always be prepared no matter what if it's if the students show up or they don't because you don't want to be unprepared you know what i'm saying or even if one student shows up teach like it's all of them in there because you still want everyone to have a quality education even if they don't show up in school i do this every time hold on y'all i think i'm not lost i just need to um i need to remember that I'm not going down this street because every time I do go down this street, what ends up happening is I wind up like, what ends up happening, y'all? Oh, I wind up getting lost going to the place versus just going the way I know. Anyway, I will also tell you too, like if you have any friends that are in positions where like similar to yours, I'll say, because I can't think of the word, but that are similar to yours, then 
ask them like what are some techniques that you use to get control of the classroom baby you gonna have to drive honey it's 45 down here you're going to smooth 20. who child they get on my nerves people be driving like they on drugs or like they too old to drive anyway so ask them that's what i did i have a friend I don't know if y'all watched my other vlog where I use like the flags in the classroom and I had put like my little rules on the board in one of the schools that I was teaching. I got that from her. And so it's like, ask people who have been doing similar works um, to yours a little bit longer because it never hurts to try. You know, it never hurts to ask questions about like, um, who beeping bro? <gasps> No, he didn't. Uh-uh. Ooh, you know that little car just passed? Honey. He caught himself trying to uh, race this Suburban that's behind me. Baby, he trying to beat his little horn. Ooh, y'all, hold on. I lost y'all. Hold on. He caught himself trying to beep his horn at this Suburban and trying to race him. But baby, you was just doing 20 down to 45. And now you want to get angry and aggressive. What's wrong with him? He literally still beeping. He trying to chase his little thing, this little uh, toy car. Anyway, y'all, uh, what was I saying? That's ghetto, bro. Um. Ooh, okay, he want to run across the street too. Okay. A little crazy man a lot of advice that i got is you will learn the further that you go like so the more that you practice being a teacher or the more that you work the more you'll start to see like what's working for you what's not working for you for me i think because i don't my mom says that i don't have a mom voice i think i don't get respected a lot and then a lot of bro what's what is going on with these people driving he right at the dispensary anyway let me keep it chill so that i can focus right here anyway a lot of people um oh back to what i was saying so because my mom was like yeah you don't have a mom voice you had to work on your mom voice i don't feel like i get as much respect then i think a lot of times too because i work with adults that um they look at me and they think that i'm younger than them and 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 sometimes it's it is true it is true that i am younger than them but a lot of times i'm about at the same age like i'm about to be 30 in september so i'm like but i don't walk around like saying like oh i'm about to be 30 because what do that have to do with the cost of tea in china nathan nothing so you know they often do that or just because of like um and this could be my own personal issue too like sometimes when people look at you they think they can underestimate you they like oh she don't look like she knows what she's talking about or whatever like you know what i'm saying but most of it is not necessarily that it's more so the um the beginning it which is or the first thing should i say which is they think that like oh because i'm soft-spoken or something like that or i don't have like a mom voice that it's like oh you can just get over that's another thing now i'm gonna close out this little car rant with saying this if you all are going to vlog your experience as being an instructor even the cosmetology students that are vlogging their experience as being a cosmetology student please be careful about how you say stuff or how in depth you go in detailing the situation because to where's hold on shook plum baby oh shoot i think i gotta get over i'm trying to go to heel okay be careful about how you go into depth about certain things because one you never know who be watching your videos and if you get too descriptive they can say oh she was talking about me and da 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 da, -da whoop, whoop, whoop. or if you're trying to keep your school discreet like how i am you don't ever want to get too discreet I mean, you don't ever want to get too descriptive because you don't want people finding out like oh i know exactly what she's talking about because it could get you in trouble like you could lose your job if you work there or you can be expelled i mean grandma and sometimes they be driving crazy like they be driving like they in detroit or something so i'm in this little car ramp vlog because baby i do have full coverage but i'm not trying to see how that's gonna work out with me you know so uh ciao